all about raw food. As we've covered in previous chapters, raw food is simply food that has not been cooked. This however, does not mean that it needs to be completely cold. The food can actually be heated, but just a little bit. In order for something to be classified as still raw and uncooked, it cannot be heated to anything above 116 degrees Fahrenheit. That is one of the misconceptions of the raw foods diet. When people hear about it, they assume that all the food needs to be cold and crunchy. However, it can be warmed up. It just can't be heated for long enough to actually cook. Otherwise it will not be considered raw. If the temperature is too high, the enzymes and vitamins will be destroyed. This is good news for people who are looking to get a little more variety in their diet. So now, you should have an understanding of exactly what raw food really is. But it's time to go into more detail so you can get started with your new lifestyle. This chapter will explain about what kinds of foods are acceptable in the raw foods diet and also how to make great food choices that will lead to a balanced diet. What makes up a healthy raw foods diet? So, what are the things that people who follow a raw foods diet can actually eat? As mentioned above, the requirements are that the food must be unprocessed and in its whole, raw state. It is optional but the foods can be heated slightly, making sure to get the food to around 110 to 116 degrees otherwise it will begin to destroy the enzymes, vitamins, and minerals. These are just some of the things that you can enjoy on a raw foods diet, fresh squeezed juice, fruits, fresh and dried, vegetables, sea vegetables such as nori and kelp, nuts and seeds, grains, as long as they are unprocessed, legumes and beans. To make certain foods such as grains and legumes even more nutritious and a better addition to the raw foods diet, they can be sprouted by soaking with water. For example, most legumes should be soaked at least overnight, especially when they are in their dried state because it makes them easier to digest. This is because soaking them activates the enzymes which help aid the digestive system as you are eating. It is important to note, However, that raw doesn't always mean, healthy. There are certain foods that should not be eaten in their raw state because they contain elements that can be considered toxic by some. Before you make the decision to completely follow a raw diet, care needs to be taken that you don't make yourself sick. Some foods to watch out for and possibly ignore altogether in their raw state include, buckwheat greens, parsnips, raw eggs, raw meat, poultry, and fish, kidney beans, potatoes, only if the flesh under the skin is green, alfalfa sprouts, cassava and cassava flour, apricot kernels. There may be others so it is a good idea to research the foods you are considering eating first. In addition, Raw foods may also have a high content of bacteria and other things that can cause food poisoning. Since heat destroys the majority of these, some foods should not be eaten raw at all or else they'll make you sick. Foods like meat, poultry, eggs, and even milk put you at risk for food poisoning and other illnesses that come from food. Don't let this information discourage you from following a raw foods diet, however. Just steer clear of the foods mentioned above that can be dangerous when raw. Making great food choices. When following a raw foods diet, it is important to take the time to eat a balanced diet, one that is filled with all the right nutrients to help increase your health. Granted, when eating such healthy foods that are rich in nutrients it is easier to achieve this than with most diets. However, since a raw foods diet is mostly vegetarian, a lot of the deficiencies that vegetarians face can also be a problem for raw foodists. There is a way around this, of course, but it does take careful planning. Here are some things to watch out for. Get enough protein. Though animal products are considered superior sources of protein, there are plenty of great protein sources in the plant kingdom. 
The goal is to make sure you get enough of it. Even fruits and vegetables have protein, so it does add up. But in order to make sure you get enough, you may want to make sure to have a few servings a day of some of these protein-rich foods, raw nuts and seeds not roasted, grains, especially protein-rich ones like quinoa, legumes such as lentils. Make sure to pair these with a grain to make for a complete protein. As you follow the raw foods diet making sure you get enough protein will get easier and easier. At first, however, you may need to keep track of your protein servings. Beware of iron deficiency. Even though the iron that is found in animal foods called heme iron is the most absorbable, non-heme iron, or iron that is present in plant sources, is also well absorbed, especially when paired with food that is high in vitamin C. However, iron is a little scarcer in plant-based sources so you need to make sure you are getting enough of it. Iron deficiency can cause fatigue and other problems. So if you are noticing that your energy level is not improving, check to make sure you are consuming raw foods that are high in iron. Here's a list. Green beans, one of the best plant sources of iron. Spinach and other raw, leafy greens. Raw wheat germ, make sure it isn't toasted. Blackstrap molasses can take this in supplement form. Lima beans. Dry fruit, especially dried prunes and raisins. Just be sure to include these iron-rich foods in your diet at least several times a week. This will prevent fatigue and other problems that are associated with low iron. Get enough calcium. Yes, it is true that milk is one of the better forms of calcium. The good news is that milk does meet the requirements of being a raw food, as long as it isn't pasteurized or homogenized. Basically that means that the milk needs to be straight from the cow and in its freshest state. However, if you are a vegan in addition to being a raw foodist, milk is not an acceptable ingredient. In that case you will need to turn to the plant kingdom for your calcium. These foods include dark, leafy green vegetables such as spinach and kale and nuts such as hazelnuts and almonds. Make sure the nuts are labeled as raw when you buy them and that they aren't roasted. For more information go to our website and download your ebook free.